All right, in this video we will do shear and moment diagrams. But before we can really even get going, we need to find out the reactionary forces at A, A, and B. So we have a thousand kilonewtons and it's evenly distributed over two uh, meters. So we can actually just change that into a force Q, force Q at, at one meter here and one meter here. And it's going straight down, so then that means QX plus QY, and QX is zero if it's going straight down. So if we were to do the summation of the forces in the X directions, they must equal zero, so QX. AX is on a roller, so I can go this way or that way, so AX is actually zero, so plus AX plus B, well we don't know what BX is, BX, so again that's zero, that's zero, so then BX must equal zero. Now let's do the submission of the forces in the Y direction, they must also equal zero, so the Y direction, so we have QX, which is a thousand newtons, or not QX, QY is a thousand newtons. Again, Q is equal to QY, so a thousand newtons, kilonewtons actually, plus um, AY plus BY. So if we, oh, that's actually a negative thousand because it's going down, so that's a negative. Oops. So if we transfer that over here, we get a thousand, a thousand kilonewtons must equal AY plus By. Now we'll move on to the summation of the moments. The summation of the moments must equal zero. So the summation of uh, what's the point we want to do? Let's do this point right here, and let's call it let's call it uh, C. So moment C must equal zero. So the moment of Q around C. C, since it's straight on, pointing straight at C, there is no lever arm, so that's zero, plus the moment of A, plus the moment of B. So with a little bit of rearrangement, moving that over there, we get the negative moment of A must equal the moment of B. So if we remember that the, that the moments are equal to the force, the perpendicular force times the lever arm distance, so then the moment for A is equal to, the moment for A is equal to the distance, and that is a negative three meters, so AY times the negative three meters. Let's do the moment for B, moment for B is equal to BY, BY times two meters, times two meters. So then if we plug um, these two babies, or set them, plug this into there and this into there, we get just a negative AY times a negative 3 meters is equal to BY times 2 meters. These negatives cancel out, so then we get AY times 3 meters equals BY times 2 meters and if we divide by two meters, both side two meters, we get AY times 1.5, after we simplify, equals BY. So then BY is 1.5 times bigger than A, so if we use this equation and plug it into this equation, then that becomes um, AY plus 1.5 Ay, and that is just equal to 2.5, the force of A in the y direction. And if we divide by 2.5 meters, then that's a thousand kilonewtons divided by 2.5 meters, and we get meters, and we get uh, approximately 400 kilonewton. Kilo, oh, sorry, there's no meters there. 400 kilonewtons, kilonewtons. 
So then AY is equal to 400 kilonewtons, and BY must equal 1.5 times A, or 600, 600 kilonewtons. So we now know what AX, AX is 0, BX is also 0, and we now know all the reactionary forces, all of them. So we can actually just, um, let's erase all this. Let's erase all of it. So we could, so I will stop this video, and we will continue on in the, in the next one for the shear diagrams and moment diagrams.